What's up guys, welcome to Game Take. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to paint the different accessory parts on your um, trailers with different colours and, and doing different parts and stuff using Mod Studio 2. Uh, I've only just found out how to do this myself. So to make life simple for me and for you, the actual trailer, I'm just going to paint with a colour. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to make different colors for the actual accessories just to highlight those particular bits. OK, so let's get started. So first off, we're going to want to open up our templates folder and we're going to go. I'm going to go into new templates. We're going to do a trailer just to show it on a trailer. ETS2, SCS, and I'm going to do the curtain 136, same as I did for the other videos that are coming up. So we're going to open that with paint.net right so very simply you know my little routine by now probably i'm not even going to bother naming things i'm just going to add a white layer underneath using the paint bucket tool add it on top drag it down and we will deselect that okay so then we're going to add a layer move it to the top now I'm just going to paint the truck, we'll do it light blue, like so, hit a paint bucket tool, hit that layer, and that will be our skin colour, so it's just a plain truck blue trailer all over, we come up here, save as, different colour parts video trailer, I'm going to save it as PDM, then we're going to come down, we're going to save it as a PNG so that we can put it into Mod Studio. Flatten that layout. Okay, so come up here then, and we're going to do a new one. Now, this wants to be 4x4. Four four. Four. Hit the tab button, 4, click OK. Now you can see it's tiny, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a load of these. So if you hold your control key with your mouse wheel, just roll it up. Right, so we've done a light blue trailer, a red box. Hit your paint bucket tool, bosh, come up. Save as PNG, and we're going to call this one red. Should be going to the desktop. We're going to save that. Okay, so that's a ready color. What we're going to do is because we've saved that actually on the desktop we're going to just use the history tool up here yep come back until that's back to being white choose another color we'll have a purple one save as purple png on the desktop done history tool once again come back we'll have a dark blue i'm sure you get the picture by now but i'm i'm not sure how many different parts we can actually paint so i'm gonna make loads of these different ones right so these are all our PNGs so we can come out of this now and what we're going to do is we're going to open up Mod Studio 2 so we are doing a trailer skin so first things first start a new mod project ETS mod manifest basic mod name will be testy mod author me mod version one zero come down it's a paint job, like so, icon, bring that in, drag it in, uh, test parts, you don't actually need to put anything in here, I don't think, okay, so next thing we're going to come to add a template, and it's a trailer skin, and we're going to click on trailer skin, now uh, it's an SCS box trailer, and we're going to go to basic, right, internal name, lowercase 
GT2 skin name we we'll call it parts skin price one everything else fine unlock at level blah 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 All right icon yeah which for this one I do believe it can be a PNG but we'll soon find out okay images now this is where you add your image in for the trailer so we're going to add this in drag it drop it and it was for the curtain side 136 so it's this part is the bit we want to do so this is how i believe you make the different parts if i've learned it correctly okay so we're going to come in here i'm just going to drag the purple one in now let's see what we can do on this so let's do a protection bar plus the painted box purple on the other side we'll do the palette box on the right as purple and then what we'll do is we'll add an image and we'll drop the blue one in and we'll do that on palette box middle still on the 136s and right side 136 protection and painted box then we want to add an image and we're going to drag in green say right, body front we'll do the victor cooler the wind deflector then we're going to add an image and we'll do yellow for this one because we're going to come right down here and do the rear bumper and the toolbox then we'll add an image and i'm going to do the white one i can't remember which one of these we did but i know it wasn't the middle one so we do that one as white so you'd have to know what ones you did would i haven't done any side skirts so we do a side skirt on the right side white and a palette box okay so we've got some various different colors there okay don't need to bother with metallic don't need to bother with thingy bobs so let's come up and we're now gonna i'm gonna save that as a mod studio 2 project we're gonna call it parts that'll do so we've filled everything in now what we gotta do is export the mod now let's see if anything is wrong no so you can use a PNG for the small icon, and it's definitely JPEG for the bigger one. Okay, SCS file, just going to be called parts. We're going to save it to our desktop. There you go, it's exporting. Okay, show in folder. Where are we? M and O. Pa -pa -pa. Oh, it's going to be right down the bottom somewhere. Parts, here it is. Parts SCS. Grab it. I'm going to copy it. Documents. Euro truck. Mod. Paste. Okay, we're going to shut that down. We're going to shut that down. We're going to go back to our center screen and we're now going to open up the game. And we'll come into mod manager. There it is. Testy. <laughs> Testy. Well, first off, actually, we're going to get rid of this tutorial skin. Oh, sometimes you're a bit of a Muppet, Steve. Okay. I'm just going to add in Testy now then because I've inadvertently taken all my mods out. Never mind, I'll stick them all back in later. Okay, so now we're going to come into Vehicle Browser, Trailer Browser. OK, 
come up there's a curtain side out there's our mod at the top so there we are all plain blue so we're going to come up to accessories and start at the front here the toolbox we painted yellow let's go through these because i don't know which ones we pressed obviously did a purple so it was on and a blue okay we'll leave that on the blue let's see what we did here that was black it doesn't look like we actually did one for this rear so in wood so we'll stick that there for a second okay rear bumper now i know we did two for this one was yellow Ah, oh, right i see so you can only per each one you can only do one color because i did two colors for this i did a white and a yellow so it's only recognizing one of them and it's only recognizing the yellow okay trailer rear should be the wind deflectors yeah it's not recognizing those because i did those a green i do believe okay might be me i might have forgotten to put the image no because it would have said no image don't know why that is okay no weird going on here because it's not putting the colors in Oh, I wonder if this is what Dan had. He couldn't get the rear ones to go. Yeah, that's very strange. Anyway, that it that you can do that then. What we'll do is we'll just check something first though. We'll just check that it's not because of the axles. okay well that is how you put how how we put them in in different colors so you just add different images i'm going to go in and try something now so bear with me guys on this one oh, we're going to quit out of this and this time what we're going to do is we're going to come into file we're going to open project we're going to come into this one which was parts right on the trailer skin all right we want to go into accessories let's just add one per each one so left side purple okay so now we're coming to vehicle browser and let's see if the same thing is happening to me as what happened to dan the other day which was what we saw earlier okay right to paint job so there's our plane skim let's see if we can add in different parts right so that now is green so this is the new mod so chassis front there's a yellow one there's a purple one there's a blue one and there's a green one okay but it was these ones that it wasn't working on but it is now now i only did the one if you remember i only did the one item so now it works let's try the bumpers I did do the purple trailer rear I see it still hasn't done the wind deflector how strange 
Okay, so has it done? That kind of blows my theory out the window, doesn't it? The wind deflector is, is puzzling me, as is. Why well, that one won't change. Quit out of that for a second. We will get to the bottom of this. Okay, this time, trailer skin, accessories, All right, I'm going to start at the bottom, I'm going to delete all the images. image I'm going to use the red one because it's the easiest one to see we'll right side rear right side rear did that wrong right so it's this one and select all in a group so it does all of them should be red yeah and I'm just going to do red again and all the way down to the bottom to the wind deflector okay and now they work okay now that should have turned red as well so that, that it, it, this is buggy so i'm sorry to say that you can do it a i'm tempted to say who wants a wind deflector anyway <laughs> but it looks like to do the rear right box you've got to check every single one of them with one color in that group i mean obviously i, I took all these out so these will just be plain old grey ones yeah okay just to check that it hasn't got a bug make sure that these are all just yeah because that was weird that it yeah, that's back to normal now right so you can paint this for the rear right you have to do it all select all in that group whether that still works when you've done other ones or but this is a mystery why this why this one won't work because i was having no problems getting this to work the other day i just want to try one other thing That wind effector is not going to change now. This should stay, should have stayed red because I didn't touch this. Now that is weird. So that proves that that has to all be done in that whole group for that. So that that's proof of that. And if this goes to a different color and doesn't change, there you go. So the proof is in the pudding. There's two bugs. One, you have to have this whole rear section, right rear on the one three sixes. I don't know about on any other sizes. Has to all be checked. Yeah. And this rear wind deflector doesn't like color because it's ugly anyway. <laughs> ugly and stupid. 
and to be quite honest with you, I don't think I've ever seen a trailer. In all the years I've been driving HGVs, I've never seen a trailer <laughs> that's had one of them on anyway. So there you go. So guys, on that note, is it possible to change the different colours in MS2? Yes, and that's how you do it, as you saw me putting in the different images and stuff. Is it trial and error? Absolutely. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think it is. You know, and the, the same would work for on the, the advanced skinning on the trucks. It only works on the advanced ones because that's the only um, ones that give you... Um, accessory slots so you could do different color door handles etc etc like that if we need to do a video on that we'll do one uh i've got a lot of mod studio 2 videos coming up how to use the previewer oh there's there's going to be a ton of mod studio 2 videos so if it's uh something you're interested in and diving deep into this uh piece of software which obviously does have a bug at the moment but i think it's due an update soon I'm not too certain. It's been a while. Um, but if you're interested in that, uh, consider subscribing, guys, and uh, clicking the old bell to be notified when I make one. Um, but um, thanks very much for watching, and uh, I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.